Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Leo and let's do some more lead code problems today. Today's problem is called non-overlapping intervals. We were given an array of intervals where intervals i equals the start end and return the minimum number of intervals you need to remove to make the rest of the intervals not overlapping. So let's take a look at this. We have one to two, two to three, three to four, and we have the, this one to three. So in order to make them non-overlapping, we just need to remove this because it, um, it overlaps with the first one and the second interval, okay? So also for this one, one to two, one to two, one to two, they're basically the same thing, okay? So we need to remove at least two to make it not overlapping. And for this one, we have one to two, two to three, and that should be fine, okay? So in terms of intervals, we naturally think of sorting them in the first place. Let's say we have something like uh, one to two, and two to four, and um, three to seven, then 10 to 20. Okay, so this is after sorting. Sort by start time, okay? Uh, now we have to check who is overlapping with who. Okay, so to, in order to check which one is overlapping, we need to know the previous end. Okay, so for the first one, the previous end is two. Okay, and then we can check on the second one. Uh, is the start time larger than or equal to prep end? If yes, uh, we can safely ignore this one and start the comparing with this interval, okay? So if it's true, print end will equal to a current end, okay? And if not, if not means it's overlapping, like this one. Okay, so the previous end is four and our start is three. So what do we do? We know immediately that we encounter something. Okay, so we will need a counter plus plus and we have to reset to know which one to remove. Okay, so like uh, if we remove this one, it will be because this ends later than this one, which could possibly be causing more overlaps. Okay, so we're, we're removing this one, right? So the, um, the, the, the rationale behind this is priv end will equal to mean priv end or the current end. And afterwards, we can just return the count, okay? So this is like this simple. Um, now let's code it out. So we first have to sort the intervals. And I'm going to use a lambda expression. Okay, so after this, the whole integer matrix was sorted based on their starting point, okay? And now we have a previous end. Which is set to the earliest end time here. Okay. And also, like I said, we need a count. Okay. So starting from the second interval, i is less than intervals dot length. Uh, if, oh, we have to record the start and end. I zero equals to intervals I one. If start is larger than or equal to previous end, then we're good. We just move the previous end to the current end, okay? 
else, uh, we increment the count and we decide which one to to remove. Okay. Okay, and after that, I think we're good. So even for the last one, uh, after removing this one, the start is larger than the previous end, so we're good. We'll just reset it, and no more remove is required. We can just return count. Let's see if it works. Okay, it looks good. And for the complexities, uh, since we're doing a sorting, I think is n log n. And space-wise, since we're not doing anything, I think it's just 01. Okay, it passes all the task cases. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like the video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in our next video.